Fitness News reporter Anita O oh joins us now live from St. Christopher's Hospital. That is where the little girl is currently being treated. Anita. That's right. And such a scary thing to happen just before the holidays. Animal control officers have set a trap for that raccoon to try to prevent this from happening again. But doctors told that family that it could take at least a year for this baby to fully recover. And now the parents want the person they call their landlord to be held responsible. This is just ridiculous because my, my daughter could have she could have lost her life. Four month old Journey Black is on a long road to recovery after a raccoon attacked her inside this home on the 2100 block of North 22nd Street Wednesday night. When I finally got to her, she was laying on the floor, so it dragged her off the bed across the room and she was like real bleeding and crying. It's been mere days since Ashley Rogers says she moved into this home with her daughter and six year old son Jordan. Other tenants also reportedly rent rooms here. So no one inside would come to the door or speak on camera. The city's licenses and inspections department tells me the homeowner who purchased the property in May does not have a rental license and that if he is renting rooms, he is doing so illegally. It needs to be shut down. Everybody needs to leave out of there. Rogers says she contacted her landlord after the first raccoon sighting earlier in the evening, something neighbors say is common, especially with trash in the area. It's terrible around here with these raccoons. Yes, it is. When the homeowner arrived to help remove the raccoon, he said that they chased them out. But after the raccoon later attacked the baby, the landlord rushed them to the hospital. The family says it intends to pursue legal action. This is his responsibility. Like now, I reached that landlord by phone earlier today. He initially hung up on me and then called me back a little while later to tell me that everything had been resolved and to contact his lawyer if I had more questions. But he would not provide me with that attorney's name or contact information. Meantime, that baby does remain here at St. Christopher's Hospital after a surgery here earlier this afternoon. We're live in North Philadelphia tonight. I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Anita, keep us up to date, please. Thank you.